perspective that I want to talk through is a student's perspective. And this is Betty. She's a second year student and she actually recently transferred into the institution that Dr. Lawrence is a part of and she really wants better access to her learning. That's, that's really important to her. She felt at her, the previous institution that you know, she was kind of going through the motions and, and she was getting good grades, but she didn't really feel like she was in charge of what was happening. Um, and we really wanted to show you how Betty can really take control of some of those things with Schoology and participate in what's happening. And this is where she finds herself spending most of her time. She's located off campus. Um, she's having to commute uh, sometimes three or three times a day uh, for classes that are spread out. And she wants to even use this time on the bus in a powerful way. So what she's going to do is that she's going to open up her iPad. Um, Schoology has one of the best mobile apps, period. Uh, Again, bold statement, but, but it's true. Uh, we provide the experience that students and, and instructors want to be able to consume that kind of info. And let me show you specifically how, um, how Betty's doing that. So if she, if she logs into Schoology, this is what the Schoology uh, looks like kind of from the iPad perspective. And she can do a lot of things here. Uh, she sees recent activities. She sees some of her upcoming uh, dates. Again, some, somewhat similar to the home page in terms of layout, but uh, different as well. Uh, but she notices that Andy from the anatomy course is having, uh, wanting some suggestions on some new projects. So what she's able to do is actually go into the comment area. And then since it's a native app, she can actually use the microphone on the iPad to be able to record her response. She talks it out loud. It then puts that information into a post. And now she's starting to communicate with Andy. Again, all while writing on the bus with making her way home. The second option that she could do from this home page is be able to go to, let's say, a particular upcoming event. There's a discussion on law and demand from one of her economic courses. She simply selects on that discussions area. And now, within this location, she can be able to read all the posts that currently happen. And then she can add some of her own thoughts. And simply by either adding text, maybe she wants to take a photo or a video, just record audio, or even attach something from her Google Drive, she can do all those things right here from that iPad experience so that she can leverage her time in a way that makes sense uh, to, to her. If I go back here, go back to kind of the, the homepage look, I wanted to show you some of the other functionality in Smoothie that we think is really important, and that's the community aspect of things. Courses are important, right? That's where the bulk of the learning is going to be happening, but groups are also a part and part of the Schoology experience. So, for instance, Betty, as a second-year student, she was really excited about being part of kind of the student government that's in place. So she uh, walk, walked around campus and saw that there was actually a student government association group, and they were give her they gave her the access code, and she was able to join that group. Now, when she clicks on student government, she can actually see all the updates that are occurring in this course. Uh, maybe there's a, a video for them to watch. Maybe there's a, a poll question that they need to answer. Again, all that's available right here for Betty to be able to access. But one of the things that she was most excited about was this last weekend, the, the Student Government Association actually did some um, uh, community support where they went out and they were constructing buildings and, and working with uh, users in the community. And we have an album tool that allows um, Betty to be able to capture pictures, capture videos, or anyone that's part of this group to be able to do that and add that to the group for the others to be able to benefit from. Again, community is a big part of what Schoology is about. If I go back to the kind of, again, the nav main navigation, I want to also show you how besides just being able for her to be able to interact in some of the learning experiences in her various courses, or be able to be part of communities outside of the normal course flow, she also has easy access to the grades that, that matter to her. So when she clicks on grades, she can now go to her anatomy physiology course and be able to access those specific things that she's done. So for instance, that group project where she submitted that skull, <laughs> she can actually see the feedback right here from Dr. Lawrence or maybe one of his TAs. All that's happening right here for her to be able to consume. No longer is she having to make her way on campus to look at some bulletin board where all these grades are posted. No, as she's heading home on the bus, she can be able to see all this information. And by the way, 
Jack and Lawrence could have done this just a minute ago, and now this is available for Betty to be able to consume. Again, this allows her to take more control of the learning that's happening and be part of the overall process. 